Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kale here again, and we're back at it with another My Team video. And today, we're gonna be doing the uh, daily challenge for the new player, Grant Williams. So, as you can see, we gotta get 10 points with Vit in uh, any game, and then we can get Grant, and we're gonna go down to Grant, and we're gonna do his challenge to get the, the XP and, and get Grant. And uh, I actually like playing with Vit. I mean, I don't, I don't mind, he's a 6'8 guard. His jump shot's not too bad, so I mean I don't I don't mind. I definitely don't mind playing with Vit. Let me see if I can find him here. He is a point guard, right? I think I'm just am I missing him? Here, let me just do this. There we go. Okay, yeah. I didn't even know I had him twice. So yeah, we're gonna play with Vit. I mean this is this is fine. I'm just gonna put somebody else I'd rather play with Mike Ray yeah so we're gonna be doing gameplay with uh Vit first to get Grant and then after we get Grant we'll do a gameplay of that and you know I definitely I definitely like these new challenges 2k are doing like it's simple but I, I like how every day we're getting something new we can do you know previous seasons it was more of here's your goals the entire season here's your goal for the next two weeks and get it done but I definitely like the the daily stuff like even though it's something simple like scored five points or maybe win this game or like for grant you have to get four rebounds i like it bro like i'm i'm, I'm digging the every day something news coming to 2k uh 2k my team yeah let's get it going so what, what do y'all think about that i heard the grant card was pretty uh pretty straight i mean you already know how i play I'm, I'm gonna go straight forward every time get as many threes as i can quickly like i don't I know I'm gonna get it done anyway, so I don't really care. But what do y'all think about uh about Grant? I know Vit, Vit's pretty solid. He definitely would have came in handy for the uh for some of the my team like limited limited challenges and games. You got to use gold players stuff like that. So I mean he he definitely would have came in handy then. But I mean he's here now. But six eight point guard. I mean his jumper is weird. Like it's it's slow. But I mean I don't really mind it too much. Six eight point guard. You can't really ask for too much more. Like. Mm. But yeah, I've been hearing. I heard the grant was pretty, pretty good on uh on Twitter. So just curious to see what you guys think. And I'm definitely, I definitely want to keep doing these so I can get the uh the dark matter that comes at the end of the end of when all this is over with. So yeah, I mean it's it's not only is it new stuff every day, but it's motivation to keep doing it. Like I definitely want to get the dark matter. Like I remember when I was uh oh wrong button. I thought Vit was the point guard. I remember when I was doing the uh what you call it like the mural. Because I had started so early, like it wasn't that that bad and that hard to get uh, the rest of them. Like for Vince Carter, I know some people started like the weekend, the last weekend before the mural was gonna be over with. But I had started somewhat early, so like getting Vince Carter wasn't that big of a challenge because I had already did most of it. So I'm hoping I can keep uh, doing this every day and staying on top of it. That way, when it's time to get the dark matter, it's not gonna be too hard to get because I've I've been doing it every day. I have too many cards to get. So yeah, bro. Yeah, that's that's about that's what I got going on. Like, I wish 2K had definitely did this stuff more though. Like, daily, sorry, well, daily, uh, like just content and daily, daily grinds. Like, I definitely feel like how this stuff is more offline. Like, I think 2K has to cater to more of the the people who want to play this game daily, which I think is everybody, and the people who want to do offline. Like, I get it. You know, my team, my team is for playing people with your teams but like personally for me i don't want to play on unlimited or limited i just want i don't want to play my team online at all until my team i feel like is is ready like and this is one of the things i can do to get my team ready by getting players by getting a dark matter at some point this year for doing this like definitely think 2k has to start catering more to offline players especially for uh for my team Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously with my team. I'm probably not going to use, uh, you know, Vit, but I definitely, I definitely going to use probably the other car, especially when it gets higher up. Like not only just Vit, but the Dark Matter, the Pink Diamond. Like, I'm definitely going to use these other cards once once it gets up there. And I can't remember how many cards it is. I think it's like 20 or something, maybe 25. So it's going to be a while before we see the Dark Matter. And I think that's the Dark Matter that we all vote on. So I'm going to be very curious to see i mean who, who would y'all like to see as a dark matter i know i don't know if i want to get an old player i definitely want to see a better kd like i was playing with uh 
like a gold KD the other day for a challenge. And it's like just KD's animations. Like I definitely want to see a better, possibly dark matter version of uh, KD. Like KD's animations are just so crisp and so clean. Like I would love if we got a, a brand new KD that was actually like usable and pretty good. Like an, an OP, like a lot of the other players when they get their dark matter or their, their best card are. Yeah, that's who I want to see. Who do who do y'all want to see? Like I said, I, I'm KD all the way. Oh, I just gotta get ten points. I already got my ten points. I can I can win the game now. I get so locked in. I, I keep thinking that I gotta do something else. Now I can just go ahead and get my my ten now. But I can go ahead and end the game now. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, I know, I wouldn't mind seeing a Dr. J. I know some people were thinking that the mirror roar was going to be Dr. J, but it turned out to be Vince Carter, you know. I, I mean, they can really go anywhere. They can do old players, new players. I really wouldn't mind, like, I don't know. Don't know. All right, one more trip and we're, we're out of here. And that's that right there is why I hate last take. I think last take is one of the most overrated, useless takes. Cause yeah, it tells you where the ball is gonna go for the rebound, but at the same time, like that doesn't. First of all, that doesn't guarantee you're gonna get the rebound. And second of all, you still get scored on. Like even with rim take, yes, is it cheesy? Yes, do people uh miss shots that they would otherwise make? Yeah, that's true. But it's like at the same time, like it it pretty much guarantees you that you won't get scored on for the most part. Like if someone shoots up a layup or a dunk, it's gonna it's the because you have the badge, it's just gonna make a miss it like every time. Oh my like, like, come on, bro. <laughs> this game should have been over minutes ago. Yeah, like with glass take, like I've I've contacted people with glass take. And I mean you just saw I got dunked on and Chris River had glass take, like glass take is so so bad to me. Like I don't even know how to do that. But yeah, glass take is so like if you can get scored on, I don't see a point in it. Like, rim take, you won't get scored on. You're better defender. It'll probably boost all your defensive stats, including uh, rebounding. But glass take is just like, I don't know, bro. What's the point of me having glass take to see where rebound's going to go, and I still probably won't get it. And I also can still get contact and then dunk on. Like, it's pointless to me. But yeah, now that's done, and uh, time to open up the pack for Grant, go get his four rebounds, and That'll be it. Um, and tell me, tell me, please let me know about y'all's success with the vault. Like I've, I've gone the vault probably over a hundred times since I started playing my team. And the best thing I got was probably I think a dynamic ratings pack. Like it's always like it's always something like that. Like three tokens, five hundred MT, one token. Like it's called the vault. Why are we getting three tokens, five hundred MT? Like the vault should be it should be a reward. Like you go in there, you get. 5,000 MT or 10,000 MT and I'm sure that's in there, but the odds of getting it are so low like I mean there you see it. we got grant We'll check out his stats real quick. Why not? I already passed it. What am I doing? Yeah, the vote the vote odds are so bad One we got okay. Yeah, here we go Here you have it. Here's grant. I mean I guess we'll look at this look at this stuff. Tennessee. I remember when he when he was playing at Tennessee. Uh they were a very fun team to watch his senior year. I think it maybe his junior year. His last year at Tennessee, either way. Him, Schofield, uh, Bone. They were a very fun team to watch. Like definitely uh I don't wanna say put Tennessee on the map, but they definitely got some more clout going to Tennessee. I mean he's got pretty pretty good stats. 94 3. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, no half badges. Okay, I mean that's spec. He's in the 70s, but cars like all the go cards you probably get from uh from this like these daily challenges probably help you out in any any challenge that requires all go players. But yeah, let's uh let's get onto the thing with him now. Just, let me just double check. I know it's I'm pretty sure it's just four rebounds. Yeah. And something just like a little tip I like to do. For challenges like this, I always try to like like if he needs four rebounds, I always try to make him the tallest player on the court. Like the way he'll be the four, 
with a three, I guess, in this situation, this only goes with a three. And he'll always get the rebound. Like, it's a little, it's a little tip. I try to help you all out. Because I know, like, points is the easiest thing to get, obviously. Assists is pretty much easy, the easiest thing, too. Because it's just, it's just scoring, but somebody has to pass the ball. But I feel like rebounds are so... So much harder to get like blocks are easy like especially for big you just you put your big out of bounds on the mid-range area and then run in and get a chase down last second but rebounds are the most unpredictable and for me the most challenging like 2k will make your player jump forward and not grab it or just not be in position at all like but a little a little trip a little trip a little tip i like to do is uh I call for a pick and roll and have him roll and usually if he gets the inside like he did just there i'll shoot it i'll shoot it very late so he can get the rebound i mean sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but that, that's how i like to that's how i like to try to get rebounds call for a screen and once they roll that's when i shoot a very late or just shoot a shot and, and make sure i miss it so it can be late early very early whatever like that see he he it's like I told him to roll, but he's still like kind of fanned out to where he's standing now. Like that's not really rolling. Like you're just going to the short corner. Well, here's one. See his jumper. Okay, his jumper's kind of quick. It's kind of quick for uh, I mean he is an undersized post, but it's kind of quick for a center. Now obviously, I mean you don't have to win the game, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, grab it. Ah. I held the the button down to make it a very late then I realized halfway through it was a layup so it wouldn't even matter anyways yeah. okay he's got inside there we go I put that up why not yeah that's I mean that's how I like to well, I guess I'll get him 10 points too that's how I like to do the rebounding challenges. Like even in domination or full games, I just always call for a screen, let them roll, and once I think they have the inside position, I shoot a bad shot. Like it's a, it's a decent method. I'm sure it's better ways to do it too, but it's decent. Ah, uh, see, like right, okay. He got boxed, but he uh, well, he got cut off, I should say, but he was able to get around at the very end. I don't know if any of y'all watched the game last night, but uh, what do y'all think about the playing tournament? You know, time of this, night before, the uh, Timberwolves beat the Clippers, like, I don't know, I, I kind of like it because it, it gives teams a chance, and, like, it's not a series, so, like, you can really put everything you got into the one game, but it just gives teams a chance to, like, say, hey, you know, we may not have the best record, but we could, we should still, oh, yeah, that's, that's easy board. We should still, uh, oh, come on. We should still, you know, be in the playoffs. So I, I, I definitely liked it, and it was so funny last night seeing Beverly go crazy after the game. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of for it. So part of me was like, yo, like he's wild, and the other part was like, somebody had said we didn't wait two years in the pandemic to not see people celebrate when they win, like go crazy. So I was like, yeah, that's also true. Like, why not? I mean, Minnesota hasn't been in the playoffs. I can't remember when, and I'm 21 years old. So I mean, why not uh, celebrate? Especially beating a former team, like that's that's always the best. You beat a former team, and then your team is the first time going to the playoffs, and who knows how long. Like, gonna be a better feeling. But yeah, we can go ahead and win the game now. I say we're probably uh, we'll probably go ahead and get him his ten points, and then I'll I'll start shooting with Ray and them. Hopefully, it's not too late by then. Oh my goodness. It's just too little. We might we might lose. I mean, let me see. I got. Hey, I just need to get two more points of grand. And I can get this challenge done. Score that. Okay, we got the challenge done at least. Oh, wait, no, we don't. <laughs> he has eight. So who? Oh, Rondo scored. Oh, yeah, Rondo did score that layup. I didn't mean to. Hopefully they miss right here. We can get something going. Yeah, that's probably off. He's not gonna pull out him.
Score that. How does he miss that? Yeah, he's gonna miss that too. And 2K, 2K, 2K. Oh, that's game. Well, we at least got the challenge done for Grant. Couldn't get the 10 points in the paint. That's fine. So yeah, that that's uh that's Grant. I mean, I was more focused on getting rebounds than I was actually trying to score with them. So, but he's got a 94 three point shot. I have a coach that puts plus four, I think plus three to uh shooting. So he has a 99. I mean, if if you got a, a lower level team or you're doing the challenge, you should have no problem using him. I mean, definitely could because he's like six eight, six seven. Definitely pick and pop big, like without a doubt, pick and pop big. But but yeah, I mean that's it. I'm curious to see who we're gonna have tomorrow. And I, like I said, I think it's I think it's four gold to start out, and then uh then you just go from there. Like but yeah, I mean that that's that's it. So thank y'all for watching and see you next time.